back at it again with another one. Let's try and do this a little bit better this time. Let's try. Not promising too much though. Fuck me! I didn't mean to get mixed up in all this shit. Been late for second guessing now, go. asshole. So you get your yellow ass out there, I'll fuck. shoot you my fucking self. Damn self. Shit, fuck. Fine. What's the vocabulary during that? Thank you, babe. Juggernaut, bitch. This place is fucking creepy as shit. You go through that Bayou Beast ride? Ain't one for kitty rides, but I do believe in the Rougarou. Are you serious? Road we're heading down with Richie. Liable yeah. to bring us right down that beast's fucking path. Oh shit, why'd I have to open my fucking mouth? Because there's two. God, shit, motherfucker. Who did this? Gladly. You made it all the way to the paddle wheel. And Lord have mercy, it 
it's worth it. Cause there ain't a purdier side than the view from the top. He's gotta be shitting himself but right now. Motherfucker for better be. We wouldn't be in this situation if it weren't for him. He can't see me through this level, surely. Ah! Ah! I was gonna say, surely he's crying to be out of here. Since he got shanked in the back, but apparently not.
still thinks I'm there, that's cute. Oh, you mess with the bull, you get his dick right up your fucking ass! Can't believe John just sent over a nigga to do his dirty work! Fuck you! Fucking naughty man. What did I say? Huh? Where are they taking you? You need need to run this through, boy. You think you can come in here and steal my own without nobody noticing? I'm not here to steal your heroin, Richie. I'm here to make you pay for what you did to Sammy and Ellis Robinson. I didn't have nothing to do with it! I watched you stab Ellis in the gut. I couldn't do nothing about it then, but I sure as hell can now. Oh, shit. Oh, God damn it. None of that was my idea, you hear? It was all Georgie, him and his old man. They wanted y'all gone, not me. Uh, what was I supposed to do, say no? Either that or make sure that I was dead. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. Please. Listen, listen. Just... Decent thing it be to let a man get in a prayer before you kill him. You can pray on the way up. Oh, 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 oh. Shit, dude. When I saw Richie Doucette hanging from that Ferris wheel, I felt a profound sense of disbelief. Nothing like this had ever happened before. The mobsters killed each other all the time, but it was generally a small, contained event. Some greaseball is eating spaghetti and meatballs at his favorite restaurant and gets popped in the head. But this was different. Even then, even before I knew who killed him, I knew that Richie had been put on display. Lincoln was trained in psychological warfare by the CIA. He wanted to terrify the mob, wanted them to know he was going to kill every last one of them and that none of them would be able to stop him. That's how we do it. Kill the tree. See you later, mate. Try not to. across the road from where I need to be. The guy who talked about the hits on black or something. Can you jump up there? No, I'll come all the way around. There we go. Wish I could just kick 
through every door, or run through every door. I don't understand why there isn't a thing on. Time to go up another chat, I guess. It's all done now, so. Should be happy. Doucette's dead. The hollow's yours. They Easy. say you strung him up on the old Ferris wheel. Yeah, I did. He killed Ellis. Shit all over the people in this neighborhood. Doucette got what he deserved. Mm, the righteous will rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He will bathe his feet in the blood of the wicked. Mm. That goes both ways, you know. I thought you said all that was behind us. My men are struggling with the notion that we now have to answer to the same men who killed Baca, who wiped out half our number. If I was them, I'd get over it. We don't have time to go around coddling people. Mm, of course not. But just just carry weight. And if you were to help my man Emmanuel, that's a gesture that would go a long way in calming nerves. What's he need? He oversees my reefer operation over at the boathouse. Help him, and I'll see to it you get a potion of the profits. Just so we're clear, I'm expecting a cut of everything, not just what comes from selling weed. It's gonna cost a lot of money to take down Marcano. Don't worry. I'll make sure you get your money. Mm. Got a snake in the grass, this one. Maybe. But no, I'd end her. That's me, though. Giving you shit. Sign the district to your home girl. Would you check the boss also improve the urns? Offer them favors like weapons, markers, vehicle upgrades, and services through the shit. That, 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 that. 64k. Can we upgrade? I don't think I have any. Oh, I need more money. To do that, I see. Cool. Are we cool? We have this kind of money because of all the work you've done. Three hundred and sixty quid. You deserve it. Three hundred and fucking sixty quid. Are you serious? I recognize the trust you had to have to put the holler in my Psh, hands. Don't give me that. You won't I'm regret out. it. Stupid bitch. Three hundred and fifty quid. Is that it? I kick down every door. That's some fucking bullshit, I'm not gonna lie. Oh hell. Good to see it is. Early news in New Bordeaux. There are reports of a violent shootout at the abandoned Baron Saturday's fun park. The authorities haven't released an official tally. But sources are reporting Three multiple casualties. One of these claims have seen a man hanging the hollow. from the very top of the unit in the area. Maybe stop over and see what's going on. This rain is so common, man. That park there. Whew. Your boy. Come on. Problems? This goddamn thing keeps jamming up. If you're ready to see the other briefings, we can get started. Show me what else you managed to dig up. You got it. Two of the city's finest scumbags. Ooh. Which one to take? The man himself, Mr. Vito Scaletta. What? You gotta be shitting me. Last couple months have been pretty tough on old Vito. Sal's always hated him. Thought he was a what? mole for the commission, but he couldn't do anything about it because Vito's made. After the heist, Sal refused to pay Vito his cut. And then he put the clamps on him. He's been trying to limit Vito's ability to pay what's owed. And if Scaletta can't kick up, the commissioner will give Marcano permission to whack him. The only reason that Vito is still above ground is because he has a couple off-the-record businesses. 
He's been using that money to pay Sal. Gotta give Skelet credit. Pretty goddamn tenacious. He's lasted a lot longer than I thought he would, but the clock is ticking. A couple weeks ago, Sal sent in his nephew, a kid named Michael Greco, to help Vito run River Row. Greco's been using his guys to limit what Vito can do, where he can go. Once he has Vito completely boxed in, he'll make his move. Scaletta has to know what Greco has planned. I'll pay him a visit. See if I can't leverage this thing with Greco to bring Scaletta around in my way of thinking. I'm sure I'll appreciate your concern. Huh. <laughs> oh, yes. Point for Dunn's favorite son, Thomas Burke. How's he doing since Danny? <laughs> Nine weeks ago, Burke stumbles into Roman the Butcher Barbieri's deli, drunk off his ass, waving a gun around. He fires off ten rounds, but the only thing he manages to hit is a fucking ham hock in the goddamn deli case. The Butcher's boys slap the shit out of him and toss him in a dumpster. Barbieri's the one who took over Point Verdun, right? Busted up Burke's leg with a tie iron. That's why Burke was willing to go along with the robbery. He thought it'd make things square with Sal, and he'd be able to get Point Verdun back. He always struck me as an asshole. Yeah, just like every other Irishman. But he hates Marcano as much as you do. Yeah, all right. Least I can do is give Danny's old man a chance for a little payback. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> He's been spending his time in a dive bar up in Point for Dunn. Duffy's, it's called. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Yo, you better be worth all this trouble. Okay, so we got two missions. Burke's just this side of a lunatic, but he's a lunatic who wants Sal dead. Find him. Okay. Looking pretty lively for a dead guy. For me? Or... How the fuck do we get out of your shitty apartment? There you go. Jesus. Okay. Let's walk and roll. I'm gonna restock it coming out. Ooh. Fucking hell. He's gonna get mowed over again. Dumb stupid bitch. Oh, loads of paper. Woo! There's sunshine now. Bad bang. Oh, I smell it's a race. He's pulling a hundred and hundred. No, it's not. Seventy, seventy-five. How the fuck is this guy going? Hey, we go. He's a leader. Oh, damn, this looks beautiful. Why are there so many there? Is that police station or just generally just popo station? <laughs> Bumper hitting the frickin' road. Oh, okay, so my game crashed. So I'm back now in the beautiful world of Matthew 3. A bit awkward that it did crash, no idea why. But, um, yeah, let's carry on. So, obviously, not too far out. Obviously, the route looks entirely different. Did it because I looked back and then looked forwards, and then it just crashed. So, I'm not too sure what that was all about. Fuck the police. What are you gonna do? Too fast. Too fast, man. I'm gonna catch this. Oh, shit! Ruin half the, uh, off stores, finally. Bitch. Whoa. 
Wow. Any word about how it's going in there? How do you think? Vito was taking his beating. Wish Greco would just let us kill the post some bitch and get it over Shit. with. Nah, Greco wants to show how tough he is. Beat on old Vito till we all respect him. If only all it took was beating up on a washed up carver bagger. Who are these guys? Huh? Hey, did you... The fuck? Get him! <laughs> Let's try over there. Come over here. Okay, guys, we're going to end it here because it is coming up around about 30 minutes. And uh, we'll be back shortly. There'll be another episode out today, so don't worry too much about that. But, uh, yeah, until the next one, guys, go look at it and...